Halloween is approaching and students are creating art while getting hands on experience before going into the workforce. 10 News reporter Duke Carter shows us how students in Henry County are learning the necessary skills to prepare them for life after high school. While this room may seem a bit chaotic, a lot of magic, some may say spooky, is in the works. And these start off as like regular tanks. Andres Akins is a junior in the industrial maintenance program at the Career Academy in Henry County. He and his classmates are getting hands-on experience of welding and creating Halloween art, like pumpkin helium gas tanks, which is a fundraiser for the program, as well as crafting a pumpkin made out of horseshoes. You put them together, tack welt the best you can, and then you just get a pumpkin. And while it looks like fun and games, these students are learning the basics to make sure they're prepared to enter the workforce. This, taking this right here, it'll like help me get to know welding better. So once I go to get my certification, I already know what I'm doing. Got me, got me. Well, we tested our luck with some of the equipment at the Career Academy. This is a plasma torch. It's one of the many tools students here at the Career Academy use to prepare them to go into the workforce. I may have to freehand with the torch. Jerry Bird is the teacher with the HVAC and Industrial Maintenance Program. He teaches students proper techniques like cutting, welding, and sanding so they are prepared if they want to choose that career professionally. Staff say about 80% of students in the program are employed in the field. Being able to use the equipment is important and they have to practice. So the more time they spend behind a welder, the more time they spend behind the cutting torch, the better they are to become productive citizens in the future. To make a lot of money and go to the pipeline. Okay, I ain't mad at you, bro. What about you? <laughs> I just want to be successful in life. Reporting in Henry County, Duke Carter, 10 News, working for you.